saw a guy on a bike. I said, hey, is there any shorter way to get to to tram um, trail? And he says, yeah, go this way. Because that's, see, this is the restaurant. And my hotel is right there. So it's like, I don't know, 200 meters. And I could have used this one, but I was not sure if it's if it's full or not. Because there's a lot of people here, but ne next time I'll know that you can stop here. And these are my anti-bells that you hear. Anyway, this is where we are. Tram line, number three. See this? Number three. Tram line. Okay, you're here. You see this? You're here. So tram line goes like this, crosses, this is, looks like a mountain, and that's Lake Louise, and it ends at the parking lot of, of Lake Louise. So tomorrow, I might drive there in my car, because there's a parking lot there, and then I can, I can take trails around Lake Louise. You see there's four, there's five. Oh, degree of difficulty, trail difficulty, novice, easy, so, oh, so green is easy. So this tram line is easy. Okay, but you see this one? Black is the most difficult. This one, five. So that's like, that's very steep. Yeah, blue is, uh, basically, I want to stay, maybe I'll try blue tomorrow. Because over there, there's uh, views. There's views from the, okay, I'm going to kill this. Bell, there's a little magnet here that you can attach to it. Yeah, and then it becomes quiet. And that's what the guy said, the bridge. He says, once you cross the bridge... And the water, man, the water is so clear. But unfortunately, there's no mountains in the distance. I would love to take a picture here. And some people are getting ready for for a picnic. No, but seriously, the water is you can see you can see the uh, rocks on the bottom. This is really cool. Oh, maybe I can take a picture like this from here because you can see the mountain there. Let's do this. Because of course, you know, what's the point? I'm just driving, walking around. I'm not taking any pictures. So this is supposed to be so easy. Easy. That's why I have these bells. Okay, so tram line trail. Louise Creek Trail 1.6. Lake Louise 4.9 kilometers. Am I sure I want to do this? <laughs> Five kilometers. Let's double check. Where are we here? Yeah, it goes, it goes to the right, goes to the right and then to the left. Well, I guess let's go. I took off my sweater. So this thing, they said uh, on the line, you gain about 100 meters in elevation. 
So five kilometers. Yeah, it would take me somewhere about an hour, I'm guessing. But and I checked in at the hotel. Well, checked in like verbally. I said, uh, she says, let me see if your room is ready. I said, no, 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 I don't, I don't need the room. I know it's early. I know your check-in time is four o'clock. It was only two. I said, I just want to park my car. And she asked me for my license plate because I had no idea what it is. But the girl was clearly was not her first day on the job. She says, I told her, I said, oh, shoot, I said, it's a rental. I have to go look at the plate. And she says, look at your keys. Usually the plate number is on the keys if it's a rental. <laughs> I took out my, I took out the keys, sure enough. And there's a plate number there. So yeah, tomorrow I'll go in my car. So I have the bear spray on my right hip on a carabiner. I still have the the safety stick in there. But yeah, I say it's pretty steep. And they call this easy. Okay. Yeah, the taxi cab guy says he, uh, the one who took me today to the rental place, he said he grew up in Alberta. Basically, he's like, he says, I'm a hillbilly. He says, I did not see beef until I was eight years old. So this would be cool on a bike, you know, because it's so wide. Oh wow, we already, like the river is over there, you can barely see it. And I ate all my food. While I was driving, I still have some nuts. I still have some nuts left. But and I got lots of water. I didn't want to take my backpack with me because, you know, the computer is heavy, the charger is heavy, so I took everything out and only left my second lens for the camera. that I'm thinking, wait, I am missing something. Where do I put my water? Because, you know, walking up a hill for five kilometers, you definitely need water. And so, I threw the backpack back on my back, because now I carry a liter bottle of that Fuji, super nice water. Yeah, at first it took some getting used to having the camera bag, uh, camera bag on my hip because it was interfering with my sticks. All right, so we are on the right trail. <laughs> That's good to know. So now, as long as I remember the number three, 
and be aware of my surroundings I should be okay but these bells are really neat they were five bucks at Canadian Tire and at first I was surprised how dull they sounded and then I discovered that they have a magnet on a strap like there's a second strap one is for hooking up to your clothing or backpack but there was another strap with a magnet and it turns out you can put that magnet on the body of the bell and it keeps all the you know those balls inside keeps in one place and it hardly makes a noise so for example now I have it on the front if I remove it check this out See? I feel like a cow. Yeah, I think one is enough. Oh, and also the Healy Billy taxi driver, expert in bears. So he says, yeah, don't worry about anti-bear spray because that only works like five, six meters, you know? So basically the bear has to be like that tree. Like, <laughs> there's no way I'm getting that close to the bear. And I said, yeah, and you cannot run from it, right? Because the bear can do 60 kilometers an hour. And the hillbilly says, there is one way to escape from a bear so i said hold on let me grab my pen <laughs> and a piece of paper so how can you escape from an animal that can do 60 kilometers an hour 40 miles an hour on a level ground and the hillbilly looked at me and says there there is a way downhill is the way you escape from a bear is like this if you can find a hill like this it says the bear has short rear legs so he cannot because it's difficult for a human but he says for a bear it's more difficult so that's there you have it boys and girls you heard it first on captain sergey's youtube channel i had no idea that such a method exists exists but yeah I know for sure that bears are very quick like on a road like this you cannot escape from the guy but probably if a bear shows up I don't know I would jump in there but how do, how do you go through all the bush so basically it's not as hopeless as I thought it would be. Like I thought my expedition was hopeless. But turns out there is still a hope at the end of the trail that I might survive this. Which is always nice to know. Now do you believe this? Wow. That's the road actually. That's the road towards Lake Lake Louise.
Pipe. Come on. Yeah, it was a bit confusing over here. I came from there, all of a sudden it says Lake Louise Trail. Like, and it says Lake Louise, 1.8 kilometers. Lake Louise Village. But then I saw a couple of bikers. a couple of bikers and I said is this tram tram line they said yeah all right now we're in business <laughs> there's people behind you but I think they went on the other trail because this one is the longest one sorry for the noise but you know If the bear eats me, there won't be any end to this movie, so... Uh, I feel a bit like an idiot, but it's all good. I was getting so hot, I had to stop and take off my jacket. See number three, trail number three, that's us.
crossing the road again? What the heck? It's like, you know, they're reminding you. If you cannot afford a car <laughs> and prefer hiking, all right, we're on the right trail. Number three. Trim line. So I haven't decided yet. Shall I go back to Lake Louise in my car tomorrow or shall I go explore another lake? <laughs> because this is a bit steep. They call it easy trail. I'm telling you, for a guy who spends most, most of his time behind the wheel, even though I do exercise occasionally, but this is not exactly easy. And I was thinking about this in terms of height. Now, when I grew, I was growing up as a kid in Ukraine, I lived in a four-story apartment building. It was 10 meters high, 30 feet. Right, so now imagine four-story building, a pretty big, you know, again, the floors were really tall. Now imagine 100 meters, elevation I'm gaining while walking it's 10 buildings like that right so it's 10 four-story buildings so that's a lot so even though 300 feet or 100 meters does not sound like much but this is what it is it's a constant climb so I would not call it easy, I would call it medium, medium difficulty. So I probably will be all sore and tired tomorrow. So I'm gonna just go in my car and explore, explore uh, some photo opportunities. Okay. Hold on, do we have a signal in here? All right, yeah, I found it. So how far is that stupid lake? <laughs> oh man. Okay, I think I'm... Oh wow, I'm probably like a kilometer. Okay, let's see, Fairmont directions oh wow. two kilometers all right so at least i did 3.5 i get a bu i got a bunch of bunch of em wait a second can you quote Nisku to BC Shipper I don't know, I'm not gonna quote anything right now But it's amazing that email, I mean this sporadic internet here Oh man, another hill. Oh man. Wow. Now I'm just following the road. See that? I should be getting close, I think probably a kilometer. And then I, I don't think I'll have much time because I'll be there around 4.30. And I'm not sure what time the sunset here, probably seven or something.
I've always stayed there about half an hour, take some pictures, and get back. The good news is that the way back, it's all down, downhill. I think I will even pack my uh, hiking poles. Actually, I'll keep them because they can help, you know, prevent from slipping and falling. But yeah, this was a constant climb here. I don't believe it, but somehow I made it. So basically the trail ends at the road and the other side of the parking lot. And there was an older couple walking towards me. I said, which way is the lake? Because there was no signs. And the guy said, oh, just go through the parking lot. You will see, he says, at the very end. Then I came to the end and I see finally a sign, like a wavy lines this way, like lake. And there you have it. Oh man, so it probably took me a bit more than an hour because, because, I was, because I was stopping and that's the famous, famous uh, Fairmount Hotel, yeah basically. Well, these are trails. Yeah, so... I went... Yeah, mine is pretty... Mine is pretty long, tram line. 4.5 kilometers one way. 2.5 hours... Wait a second, elevation 195 meters. Son of a bitch. I knew it felt difficult, you know. So it's not 100 meters, it's 195 meters. So if one building is 10 meters tall, remember the one I lived in? So it's 20 buildings like that. Wow. And I did it. All right, so let's see. Let's go see the freaking lake. And I watched a video on YouTube. Some girl YouTuber was talking about this and she said, she says the best way to experience the lake is uh, to rent a canoe. You know, she said it's like I forget 50 bucks or 100 bucks, but it's pretty expensive. in the water. The water looks really, really dirty. I think it's one of those cases when they say the journey was more important than the destination. <laughs> I was expecting some deep blue or emerald color.
And there's a, you can cheat. I saw a booth that said the uh, shuttle. So I'm pretty sure I can take a bus back, but that would be cheating. But imagine this, if you're staying at this hotel, probably for some three or five hundred dollars, you can get a room. <sighs> Sorry. You can get a room with a view of the lake. Ah. Right, I just want to sit down somewhere, get my water out, catch my breath, take a few pictures. like a nice nice chair yeah this was good <laughs> 